Hi guys, today I have my 2017 year-long makeup empties for you. This is really exciting. I've been saving all those empties for the whole year. So it's finally the time to dump all of them out and then show them to you so I can finally recycle everything. And just in a quick summary, I have finished 67 makeup items this year, which is quite amazing. And two of which I actually threw away their packaging, so I'm not able to show them to you, but I did save 65 items. And also at the same time, I finished 15 nail polishes that are colored nail polishes. And on top of that, I finished five top or base coats and one cuticle oil pen. So that's more like 21 nail items. And then I also finished three fragrance perfume products. So I think I definitely didn't do that good in my perfume uh, category. Of course, you will see that very soon, but out of the three products, I actually only finished one full size. The other two are only sample size perfumes. So I definitely need to do better in 2018, try to finish more perfumes. But I think makeup wise, I did pretty good. And nail polish wise, I also did pretty good. I'm really excited about it. So right now, I'm going to switch the camera angle and just show them to you. So this is an overview of all the makeup products I was able to finish this year and of course this is just makeup and I have all my nail polishes and fragrances on the side and we'll go into that in a little bit. So I'm going to try to break them down into different categories so you can get a better look at everything and I wouldn't talk too much about how they performed just because the video will be forever long if I do that. If you're interested to know how I like a certain product, you can either leave me a comment down below or you can go check out some of my previous project pen videos. That's pretty much where I used up everything. And let me just break them down. I finished three blushes this year, but I only have packaging for two because I accidentally tossed my Bon Jovi palette. So in that palette, I finished a highlighter and a blush, but I threw away the packaging. So just know that I finished the blush in there too. And right here, well, there are two slots for blushes. One I finished last year and I finished the other one this year. And I also finished a Japanese sample size blush. So this one is all gone. I finished two bronzers this year. This one is departed from the Cheeky Sweet Spot palette that Benefit came out with, I think, a couple years ago in a holiday set. It's a hula bronzer. It's slightly smaller than the full-size bronzer, but I really enjoyed it. And this one is a sample size Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer, and I finished that one completely as well. And the packaging is actually broken. I only finished two brow products this year. I actually am so close to finishing up another one, but I just didn't get to it on time. And I use just eyeshadows to fill in my eyebrows a whole lot, so I don't really use, you know, eyebrow pencils too much. So I have one eyebrow pencil from IT Cosmetics. It's a brow power universal eyebrow pencil. And I have a sample size eyebrow gel. This one is clear and it's from ABH. I finished three concealers. Um, this one is a potted form. It's from E Pearl Dual Salmon Concealer. The color is light to medium, but I only finished half of it. You can see the other half is just way too dark. I can probably use it as a contour, but I don't think the formula, it, it's just too creamy. It's not used as a contour. So I'm not gonna touch that side, but I finished the light side. And then I also finished this Lancome Under Eye Concealer. This one is only a sample size, but it lasted me forever. And I love it so much. It's such a good concealer. And the last one is more like a um, color corrector. This one is from YSL. This one is in a peachy color and it's just a brush pen kind of applicator. And I fairly enjoyed it. The only highlighter I was able to finish is from my Bon Jovi palette as well, but I don't have the palette to show you. So that's the only one I have this year. I only finished one eyeshadow primer. It's only a sample size. It's from Too Faced. It's a 24 hour shadow insurance. I can't believe it took me the whole year to finish this one. It's ridiculous. But I am actually kind of out of eyeshadow primers now, so I have to go purchase one. How exciting. I finished seven eyeliners this year. Three of them are liquid. I just like having a liquid eyeliner on hand. I think they're just handy. This one I most recently finished. It's from Jordana. It's the Fabu Liner. This one is really good, but it dried out on me really fast. It's been a while since I used one of those, but it's a felt tip eyeliner. It's pretty easy to use. I like that one. This one I completely hated and I didn't get the point of it at all. It's from CoverGirl. It's Intensify Me, 
The weird thing about it is that it has a petal shaped tip. I don't know if you can tell. See that? It's so strange and it dried out really fast. And the last one I also didn't really enjoy. This one is from Ico. It's a sample size. It's called I Do Liquid Eyeliner. The tip is nice. It's a felt tip, but it smudges everywhere. It just wouldn't dry on my eyes. So yeah, nope. So it's kind of like a year of miss for my eyeliners. And I have two pencil eyeliners that are in the color black. This one is a sample size from Marc Jacobs. It's the Sephora birthday gift, and I used up that one. The other one is one of my Holy Grail eyeliners. This one is Liquify Eyeliner. I believe that's what they're called. This one is super creamy and easy to use, very intense black, but you do have to be careful because it could smudge. I have two colored eyeliners. One is in the navy blue color. This one came from Butter Linden and it's the Winky Eye Pencil, I think, and the color is called Inky 6. It's just a navy blue color. That's okay. And this one, I really enjoy the formula of it. It's from Cargo. It's the Swimmables. It's a dark brown color. I wish it's a black one. I probably would look into buying the full size. Cream eyeshadow base, I only finished this one product. This one is from Urban Decay. It's a 24-7 glide on shadow pencil, I think. And the color is Juju. It's a darker kind of brown color. Um, it's all gone, and I finished those things so slow, so I'm glad I finished one, but I wish I did more though. Those are the eyeshadows I finished this year, so I have two depotted eyeshadows. This one is from Lorec Pro Palette. It's in the color light browns. I probably would glue this one back into the palette because I just pop it out. It, it's a little easier for me to use that way, and now the palette looks kind of weird with one empty slot. And this one came from a Rimmel Quad, and it's a kind of like mid-tone shimmery purple shade, and I finished that one. I have a single. This one is from Revlon. It's a Revlon matte. The color is Vintage Lace. It's a good brow bone color. I just used it that way. It's huge, though. It's a big size pan, so I'm really glad I finished that one. And those two are in my pan and palette, actually. And this one is from Wet n Wild. It's a Smoke and Matte Rose Quint. I depotted the very last shade out of here, so I finished four shades, but not the very last one. Um, so close though, right? And the other palette is from Lancome. This one has seven shades inside. They're all gone. I only finished two face powders this year, both from Bare Minerals. Both are incredibly hard to use. Um, I mean to pan. That's a more precise way to describe it. One is a pressed form. This one is super hardly pressed inside. It just took me forever to use even though it's only a sample size. And it is the Ready Touch Up Veil Bra Spectrum SPF 15 Translucent. And the other one is Mineral Veil and I think it doesn't have a color. It just has SPF 25. It's loose powder form. It just... They took me way too long. I don't use loose powder a whole lot. I think both of them, even though supposedly they don't have a color, but they definitely show up really powdery and really light on my face. So I'm not gonna look back onto them. I have three face primers, not a whole lot, and they're all sample sizes. I was working on a full size for the majority of the year and I just could not finish it. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I finished those three pretty early on in the year. I have a super small sample size, Benefit the Professional. I really like this one. And then I have a sample size from Ulta. This is Hydro Prime, also a really good one. This one is from Marad. It's the Invisible Blur Perfecting Shield. I think it's okay. It's too silicone-y for my preference, so I probably wouldn't get that. But I do enjoy that it has SPF 30, though. I have four foundation or BBCC cream kind of product. Actually, two of them are tinted moisturizers, but I use them as BB creams. This one, small size from COTS, it's a face natural tinted SPF 40, not a big fan. Um, I used a couple of samples last year, and this one is the last that I have in my collection. I'm glad I finished it. And the other one is Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. Does it have a color? Yeah, the color is nude. I pant this, not a big fan, I just don't really like it. And I have this BB cream, it's from Dr. Jar, it's BB Beauty Balm. It, it says it's shimmering, but it's a little bit covered by my Sharpie lines. It really is shimmering, so I don't know, it just makes me a little bit too shiny. And then the last one I just finished recently, this one is the only actual foundation. It's Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, and the color is Intensity 2.0. I like it okay. I finished two setting sprays this year, not a whole lot. I just, I tend to skip this step, which... 
you know, I need to fix that habit. Anyways, I have a full size from L'Oreal. This is Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. I like it. It's pretty good, especially for the price. And I have a sample size from Super Goop. This one is the Rosemary setting mist and it has spf 50 i really enjoy the spf in it but it didn't last me long at all i actually forgot a eyeliner this one is a gel liner it took me forever i probably used it for two years on and off and i finally just recently finished it super happy about that um it's a really good eyeliner though this is from l'oreal it's the infallible lacquer liner 24 hours the color is navy I have this one product, I'm not sure what category I should put it in, it's kind of like an under eye primer, it's borderline like a eye cream and a makeup product, I just use it underneath my eyes because it does have a illuminating effect, it makes my under eyes look a little bit more plump and I only do that when I use makeup because it's tinted. If I use this product and don't use any makeup on top of it, you can definitely see product under my eyes and it's just super awkward so it's like a makeup prep step i guess so this one is estee lauder idealist cooling eye illuminator i actually really enjoyed it all right let's go to lips now so lip liner i only have this one so this one is from nyx it's in the color nude pink it's all gone i like it okay i think in general i'm just not a lip liner user so i probably wouldn't buy any lip liners at all I have seven lip glosses, that's really good because I'm really not that big of a lip gloss wearer, so I think this is like big accomplishment for me. I have two sample size Boxum lip glosses. This is probably my favorite formula when it comes to lip glosses. So um, one is in the color Jennifer, one is in the color White Russian. I finished those two. And then this one, I really hate it. It's from Mali and the color is Stardust. It's just really thick and goopy. Talking about thick and goopy, I think this one is also pretty horrible. It's from MAC. It's the Pro Long Wear Lip Glass and the color is infinitely likable. It's just so thick and um, I can't deal with it. And then I have those three. I think formula wise, they're very similar. They're just creamy and kind of like easy to use. But because this color is so dark, it actually was pretty hard for me to use it looks like there's a lot of product left but there really isn't like i couldn't fetch anything they just kind of stuck on the glass and i didn't take the stopper out of those two maybe that's part of the reason why they look like they have product left in there regardless this one is lorac alter ego and yeah like i said for such a creamy formula the color is just too dark and runs everywhere and this one because the color is light it's not horrible it's from laura mercier and then this one, the color isn't too intense, even though it's creamy, I don't mind it too much. It's from Almay, but I just don't think I will repurchase. Another lip gloss I missed. This one is a sample size from Lancome. It's a lip lover. I actually really enjoy the color and formula. It's on the thinner side, it's hydrating. And even though it's this dark uh, pink color, but really on the lips, it's rather sheer. I really enjoyed it. I have one liquid lipstick. This one is a super small sample size from Tarte. It's a Tartist uh, lip paint in the color Birthday Suit, I believe. Yeah, Birthday Suit. Um, so this one came from a Sephora birthday gift this year. I have four lip balms or at least products I use as lip balms. I really enjoy those two. The first one is Chapstick Total Hydration in the scent Thuzing Vanilla. I'm so close to finishing another one in like a coconut flavor. I really like those ones. I think they're really good and I'm, I, I'm just going to go back to them a lot, I'm sure. And this one is also really good. It's Nivea A Kiss of Smoothness. This one is a lot more creamier compared to the Total Hydration. So if you are prepping your lips for makeup, I don't suggest using this one. And then this is a super small sample size from Bite. It's a BB for lips and the color is flush. This one is like the perfect prep for, you know, just before lip products. It's definitely much more waxy. I don't think it's very hydrating, but it's enough to make your lips not look chapped. So I think this is a good product. The last one is from L'Oreal. It's a Color Wish Balm and it has a very light tint color. I use it as a lip balm. It does make my lips look pale just because the color compared to my natural lips is really pale. So it's not a pretty look, but it's hydrating enough. So I only use it before I go to sleep at night and I used it up that way. 
This one, I'm not sure if I should count it as a lip balm. It's called Lip Screen. It's a sunscreen lip product. It's a little moisturizing, but it's definitely not the kind that will heal your chapped lips. I think I just use it as a lip sunscreen, really. It has SPF 50, so that's pretty handy. I have four lipsticks or lip crayons, I guess. Well, for me, they're kind of the same thing. A full-size lipstick here is from Maybelline. The color is Blushing Bud. It's kind of like a cooler tone nude pink color. I don't think the color looks that nice on me, but the formula is really good. A sample size from Marc Jacobs, it's a Sephora birthday gift. It's in the color Kiss Kiss Ban Ban, all gone. Really, really miss that formula and the color. And then also I have a Julep, it's Balm Lip Crayon. This one, formula is pretty good, but again, not the biggest fan of the color. I'm glad I finished that one. By the way, in the middle, the white thing is like a um, lip balm core, so it's pretty moisturizing. It feels pretty nice on the lips. And the last one is another birthday gift from Sephora. It's the Satin Lip Pencil from NARS and the color is Rikugia. I really miss this one. I think color and formula, they're both really good. So I probably will go purchase this. Last, I have all of my mascara products. I have one mascara primer. I reviewed this in one of my recent videos and I actually got a full size from Octoly recently. I'm really excited. I love this one. It's so good. I'm very close to finishing another sample size now. Um, and I'm just beyond happy I have a full size. It's a grande primer. It just changes their lashes dramatically. I have a three sample size mascaras. I think I like all three of them. I really like the Better Than Sex mascara. Um, I've used quite a few of those before and I really enjoy that one. And another new discovery, this one is from Laura Geller. It's a glam lash and it's a surprise to me. It's so good, I really enjoy it. The Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant, I don't think I got much out of it. When I started using it, it was a little bit dry. So I don't feel comfortable with my opinion just because I didn't get to use it a whole lot and it started pretty dry. And those two mascaras I really loved. Uh, one is the Super Sizer from CoverGirl. It's a stable mascara for me. I always go back to that one. And then this one is a new discovery. I use it as a under eye mascara. Under eye mascara? lower lash mascara it's a beauty counter lengthening mascara it's a really skinny wand so it's perfect for the lower lashes and it's really good it really lengthens even used on the top lashes and also it doesn't smudge which is a huge plus one mascara that i feel okay about this is lorac cobra mascara it's okay like nothing too good or too bad it has a weird shape wand it's like a cobra head can you tell um, I mean, it worked okay. Those three, I hate it. They're all very horrible. They smudge and they don't do much to my lashes. Uh, one is a CoverGirl Katie Cat Eye. I hate it. It's so bad. It smudges everywhere. It's a huge wand. It has a spiral kind of shaped wand. It really just gets everywhere. Not worth your time. And this one, well, I mean, it's okay. Like the fact once you apply is okay, but it smudges pretty bad too. And the wand is small and short, but really fat. So I don't know, not a big fan, don't like it. And then this last one also smudges pretty bad. It's the Mali Volumizing Mascara. The effect is not great and it smudges and it's really messy, you can see. Um, yeah, um, yeah, not a big fan. Next, I have my perfumes. You can see they're all Bulgari. I was just on a Bulgari kick this year. I finished the full size. This one is Green Jade, and I think I really like Bulgari formulas, especially the Omnia collection. And this one is a new trial for me. I think they just came out with the 2016, and the scent is Periba. It's very tropical, and it feels very different from other Bulgari um, perfumes in this shape. I don't know why they put it in this collection. It's a good scent, but it's nothing like the rest of them. This one is in the scent Coral, I believe. I really like it. I think Coral is just a good old stable. It's getting dark now, so um, let's just quickly move on to all my nail polishes. So here I put all of them together so you can get an overall, like, all-together look. Um, I finished, I think, 15 bottles of um, just 
colored nail polish right here and I have some like base coat top coat and whatnot so let's go through the colored um, polishes first so I have a Julie G color this one is dancing in the dark and I have a sample size Kevin D in the color love craft and I have a full size uh, China glaze in the color exotic encounters by the way, if you want to see my reviews of those nail polishes, you can totally go check out my project polish. All of those are finished in that project, so um, I talk about them a whole lot every month, so I don't want to repeat myself. And I have a Julep um, Color Morgan. I really like the color, but it got too thick at the end. I have a Glitter Dense Polish from Ginger and Lids. It's the Skinnies collection. The color is Good Wife, Good Life. And another glitter dense polish, this one is from Maybelline, it's a color show in the color Gilded Rose. Very gorgeous color, I love those two. And then another two color show um, nail polishes from Maybelline, this one is Lime Accent, that one is Ageless Olive. And I finished a Revlon Perfumery nail polish, this one smells really good, and the color is Moonlit Woods. A sample size Color Club uh, nail polish in the color Poetic Hues. I love this color, it's so good, but so sad the formula is just okay. I got two Wet n Wild nail polishes. Those two are both sample size, but I really like the sample size better than the full size because the brushes are skinnier because you can see my nail beds are not wide by any means. I prefer the skinny brush way better. This darker shade is in the color Under My Spell, and this purpley color is through the grapevine. I have a sample size Deborah Lipman. This one is Mermaid's Dream. I think light green just doesn't look too good on my nails, so it's good that I tried it out, but never again. I have two sample size Zoya polishes. They're both set in formulas. The great one is Rowan and the pink one is Brittany. I really enjoy both of them. I have three base coats. Uh, one is a full size naked manicure from Zoya. One is a sample size anchor from Zoya. I like anchor better than naked manicures. And then the other one, I used it as a base coat even though it's a nail growth stimulator. It's from Cutica. It's also part of Zoya. I don't think my nail really grew faster when I used this. I don't really see any results. I only have two sample size top coats because I'm using those huge like refill top coat bottles and they take forever to go through, I probably would be able to finish one entire huge bottle next year. So this sample size is from Zoya, it's Armor. I think they came in a set as this one, so Anchor and Armor. I like it, it's pretty good. This one is a super small sample size sash V. I go through phases. They do dry really fast, but like they kind of shrink around your cuticle. I just don't like that, so yeah, I probably wouldn't go buy it myself. I only finished one cuticle care product. This one is from Different Dimensions, it's a cuticle oil pen. So I tossed all the makeup products in this bin. I don't think I'm gonna save it for another year. I've seen other people doing like two year makeup empties. I think it's just too much for me. I don't, I don't want to save all the packaging, you know? Um, let me know what you think, if I should save them or not. Um, but regardless, I'm really proud. This is a whole bucket of nothing but only makeup empties and of course I got all my like nail polish empties up in that corner still it feels really satisfying and really good and yes um so I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to give me a like and subscribe thank you guys for watching bye